1980, very early, we started looking at vegetable transplants and there was quite a bit of interest in that because of the, uh, the new labor laws and shortage of labor and trying to get more production out of the same field. Traditionally in the past, everybody produced one crop a year and in Salinas Valley and in, in Santa Clara County, we realized that we could grow two or three crops a year if we could do it with a transplant. And so we really worked with a company uh, at the time it was called Bud Annal, which is now owned by Castle and Cook and Dole. And they were growing the lettuce transplants and uh, cauliflower transplants. So we worked with them in the development uh, of, of the vegetables. And then I thought if it works with vegetables, it probably would work with ornamentals and fruit trees and shrubs. So I moved it in our nursery at Leonard Coates and created the plugs then for the ornamentals as well. It was interesting in the process of doing this, we also had to work on the cell structure and the cell shape. We had to work with the plugs that would grow roots correctly. Uh, where before, we would just start the roots in a common tray, then you move them into a liner stage or two and a quarter, then you move them into a one gallon size, then you move them into a five gallon cans, and so on. If we're able to propagate in a, in a proper cell that would control the roots and never let them twist and create greater branching, then I could skip a size. So we were able to take a small liner of one inch by, by two inches and move it right straight into a gallon can, which is why we save so much time. We also created two or three times more roots than normal. And the same would apply. We could take a two inch by three inch plug and put it in a five gallon can, and that's why we were able to produce that in nine months instead of so long.